it's way further than actually what I thought it was going to be. Um, it gave me the data that I needed because I tested it out and I'm like, okay, I could use these and I was asking questions, a lot of them actually, um, which is going to really help us in providing the actual right type of insights for our users. Actually, it exceeds my expectations. I find that it has been elegantly designed and the form factor is one that is convenient to use and put to work. Well, the technology is pretty impressive. It really comes down to how well we can develop the model. It, uh, it, it went above and beyond what I was uh, what I was looking forward to. So I can't wait to, to sit down and, and test some things and start running some models. And uh, it went w above and beyond what I could expect. More impressed and now have future uses for other things. Uh, well, it's exciting what it can do. Uh, what it does so far is very minimal, but it again, hasn't even come out yet to the public. Uh, I know once it's in the hands of more developers and such, it's gonna grow and I can't imagine where it could end up, to be honest. I mean, I think it's, I think it's great. I think you've done phenomenal work, amazing really, and um, I'm excited to actually get it and use it. It's sort of in the beginning stages right now and I could see it has a little bit more to go. And I think with the developer community getting together, um, I think it's going to work quite well. It's going to it's going to be a, uh, a game changer. Having a handheld spectrometer has a lot of uh, a lot of amazing uh, applications, and I know that a lot of other companies have tried it and failed. And you guys look like you were coming the closest. So it's very interesting to see to see how you guys are accomplishing that. I ran an oil lab for years. We used large spectrometers for oil analysis, and I was impressed with the size of this. Uh, curiosity is can I use it for some of the analysis I used to do with large machinery, so that was what hooked me. I found SIO through the Kickstarter campaign, and I immediately saw how what an amazing product it could be and just got excited about it talking to all the folks at Consumer Physics and uh, it just got me excited about the product and I'm looking forward to playing with it. The Frontier. Working on the Frontier, looking at all the possibilities that it holds for everything that we do so that we're more efficient with the things that we do and utilize computer systems and understand the interaction of the world around us. It has amazing future possibilities for what it can do for people's health. I thought of it very food specific as that's my my background. It caught my eye uh, because of the fairly radical difference in price performance that it posed. So I was curious, I backed it immediately. I'm particularly interested with regard to the food chain. The cold chain, in fact, looking at what happens from agriculture that is moving from the farmland into your home. Well, we could use this for alcohol analysis and, and different blends of whiskeys. It can give people a really realistic idea of what they're actually eating. Materials for manufacturing, the ability to verify condition, origin, composition of materials before use in, ma in advanced manufacturing processes is what, I, uh, what I'm interested in. Detect textiles, so the differences between different textiles. I'm a lover of science and innovation. This looked like a large step in the right direction.